because I'm like, oh, oh, I'm not ready for the wrinkles, okay? I barely, like, I still get pimples, okay? It's Rose and welcome to another video. Today we are not talking about food, but we are talking about beauty. Yes, okay. Specifically, we're gonna talk about skincare, guys. So let's backtrack, okay? Let's backtrack. So when I stopped buying products that have been tested on animals, that was 2011. So that's when I started really delving into the cruelty-free stuff. And I was not even vegan at the time. So just a little note, even if you're not vegan, it does not mean that you can't try in different aspects of your life. For example, starting to only buy products that are cruelty-free, which now there are so many options available. There is absolutely no reason to support companies that continue to test on animals. I mean, it's 2019. So we need to try our best at buying products that are not tested on animals. It's very important. Anyways, not here to preach, but I'm just gonna say, so in 2011, I really made an effort to switch over to cruelty-free products and then slowly but surely I started delving in to vegan and cruelty-free products and now I'm I'm pretty much only buying products that are vegan and cruelty-free, at least as far as I'm aware. So I really try my best to buy beauty products that are vegan and cruelty-free. So for many years, I thought that Korean skincare was out of the equation equation when it comes to the products that I was going to buy. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but I am Korean. I'm from South Korea and I know that Korean skincare is, you know, it's a little ahead of the times maybe, okay? Korean skincare is very famous, okay? It is like very popular worldwide. Korean beauty in general is considered to be like very, I don't know, ahead of its times, okay? Korea is just a very trendy place that like starts all these like beauty trends and I remember even like in high school school and stuff when I would go back to Korea I would always find that their skincare products and their makeup products just seemed just better and they were more affordable but also still like seemed like really good quality and stuff like that so I was a little bit sad that I thought I couldn't buy any more Korean skincare products because of the fact that Korea is a little bit behind when it comes to things like animal rights and that kind of information isn't really as readily available so I just thought you know I'm just gonna like not buy any Korean products <laughs> until now okay so, I'm so happy because there's a few ways now that I can buy Korean skincare. So, I wanted to just share with you guys some places where you can buy Korean skincare products that are cruelty-free and vegan-friendly. Yes, guys. I, I think we should all try this, okay? So, Korean skincare, like I said, is... I don't know. Korean people are known to have good skin. I am not the example of this, okay? But Korean people are like kind of obsessed with skincare. It's all about making sure the skin is like nice and youthful and smooth. I mean, I don't know how much of that is the products. I know there's a lot of, you know, cosmetic procedures, if you will, that people get done. Even on the skin, there's a lot of things that people can do to make their skin look really good. So I'm not actually sure if it's the products themselves or the fact that people like to avoid the sun, like they don't really like the sun. Either way, I like Korean skincare and a lot of these products I'm about to show you are now like my holy grail, okay? So let's just get into some of the products I have just scattered all around me, okay? So one product that I have been obsessed with and you're gonna hear about this brand throughout this video because it's like my new favorite brand, okay? And it is called Dear Claire's, that is the brand. And this is their toner. So this is the Supple Preparation Facial Toner. When I was younger, I used toners that had like alcohol in them and it felt very drying on the face. And I thought that was normal and maybe that's what toners did. But this toner is very different. It just feels extremely moisturizing on the skin. And that's the kind of thing that I've been going for, you know, the moisturization. I turned 31 this year, people. And because of this, I'm like obsessed with anti-aging, slowing down the aging process. So I think that's why I'm becoming a lot more like interested in skincare now because of this, because I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for the wrinkles, okay? I barely, like I still get pimples, okay? Anyways, so this toner, I literally, I think this is my second one for sure, and I bought a third one as a backup. I just really enjoy using it. It feels so nice on the skin. It just feels moisturizing, and I don't even use a cotton pad with it. I literally just, I'll just show you, okay? 
I just do that, okay? And then I'll just rub it like this and put it all over my face, okay? And, and all over my neck as well. The neck is very... Someone said to me when I was young, you can hide the wrinkles on your face, but you can't on your neck or something like that. Someone was like, if you want to know how old someone is, just look at their neck. And I'm like, Ugh. anyways. So yes, this toner, yes. I don't even know if it works. Okay, here's the thing. First of all, I'm not a dermatologist. Okay, so whatever I say, just take it with a grain of salt. Okay, I'm not a dermatologist, but it just feels nice on the skin. This is deeply moisturizing, it says. It says it balances pH level. Don't know. Okay, is that true? I don't know. Seems to be good. It feels good on the skin. It feels very moisturizing and it's vegan and cruelty free. So I love it. So where can you buy this? I actually bought this on iHerb.com. You can also find it on Wish Trend. I'll leave both of those links down below as to where, I think those are the two websites where I bought these products. And what I love about both those websites is that you can filter out, well, at least on iHerb, you can definitely filter out cruelty free and vegan products. So you can only check products that are cruelty free and vegan and on wish trend they actually have little vegan signs beside each product so you just know which one is vegan which helps so much when you're shopping <sighs> seriously I just love when it's just there and it's labeled and I don't have to look through the ingredients and Google ingredients that I don't understand <sighs> So that's why I like shopping on iHerb and also on Wish Trend. So the products that I'm talking about were either purchased on iHerb or purchased on Wish Trend. Just putting that out there. Okay, so I use that after I cleanse my skin. I don't even have a cleanser in here to show you. I don't know which cleanser I'm using right now. But yeah, I use the toner. After I apply this toner, which I use day and night, by the way, and at night I use it after cleansing my face, like after I wipe up all the makeup and I cleanse my face, and then I use this toner. In the morning, I actually don't wash my face with cleanser. I just wash it with water because I've already cleansed out my face the day before. I don't feel like I need to put cleanser on in the morning again because there's really nothing else on it but product. So I just wash it with my face. I feel like it's better that I don't like keep drying out my skin with more cleanser and just cleansing it all the time. That's what I do. That's just my personal preference. That's what I started doing and it works well. And plus, you save money because you don't have to buy as much cleanser, okay? So then, yeah, I use toner in the morning and at night. And then what I've started doing, I don't know how helpful this is, but apparently this is good for your skin. So this is another product by Dear Claire's and it is called the Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. And it's kind of, it's just a pure vitamin C, like, oil it feels is it an oil like it feels like an oil it's kind of slightly thick let me just show you Ooh, that's oddly satisfying like it has a liquidy but like a little thicker than water consistency I don't know how to describe it it feels quite moisturizing actually and it's supposed to be very good for your skin it's supposed to help even out your skin tone now I'm not really sure you know what let me read this so in Korean it actually shows you let's see and I just realized that I'm really bad at Korean I can't translate this <laughs> okay it does say stuff in English but it doesn't tell you what the benefits are in English it only says it in Korean anyways oh yes and it says mildly improves skin tone and texture without harsh irritation so I actually keep this in the fridge because apparently vitamin C it goes like it goes bad quickly or it oxidizes very quickly so I keep it in the fridge and I try to remember to you know run over to the kitchen and like put it on my face <laughs> now that I'm kind of obsessed with skincare it's been something I have been actually keeping up with once again you can buy this on iHerb or on Wish Trend. I believe it is on both of their websites and yeah it's just a vitamin C drop and apparently it's good for your skin who knows and to go with this I love this thing and so this one is this is supposed to go with this I believe so this is called freshly juiced vitamin C uh, vitamin drop and this one is called freshly juiced vitamin E mask so this one is a vitamin E mask once again you can get this on iHerb and I believe you can also get it on wish trend and this vitamin E mask enhances the effects of vitamin C and can also be used as a moisturizer so I bought it to use in conjunction with this and what I love about this oh, I actually do use this as a moisturizer and this feels so moisturizing on my skin and it, it's really weird because it kind of like I should probably use like a scoop but I'm not that like I don't know it has like a very strange like almost jello like consistency and it feels so moisturizing on the skin it smells nice when I put it on at night it like it just feels so moisturizing and then the next day 
it still kind of makes my skin feel like you know like it's been nicely moisturized the day before I love the idea that I can like put on like it's like a mask you know I feel like it's like more intensely moisturizing because they it's called a mask so I feel like you know it's better than just a moisturizer <laughs> So that's what I was looking for. I was looking for some kind of like an overnight mask and I believe I found it Okay, I like this. I've been using it now for about like two weeks or so and I mean I don't really know if I notice a difference. Here's the thing with skincare products I don't actually for me personally I feel like you know, of course the skincare products do make a difference But for me, it's just kind of like a lot of it has to do with like hormones and when it comes to breakouts I mean like hormones and how tired I am and if I'm getting enough sleep all of those things are really important So it's not just the products you're putting on your face. But anyways, just a little side note, of course, products are not miracle workers. If you're getting no sleep, if you are eating crappy foods, if you are, you know, not drinking enough water, if you are stressed all the time, then all of those things impact your skin negatively. So just putting that out there, okay? That's very important. I believe what you put in your body is more important than what's on your skin, but... It's still nice to have a good skincare routine, you know? So yes, this is what I have been doing mostly at nighttime, but I do like to do this during the day as well sometimes. But if I'm not using this during the day, then I use, <laughs> this seems like an ad for Dear Clears, but I swear it's not. I use this product for the daytime. So it is the Dear Clears Rich Moist Soothing Cream. And it's just a kind of like an almost basic moisturizer and just a nice kind of high hydrating moisturizer nothing crazy it just feels nice and gentle and moisturizing it's just simple I like that it's simple it comes in a simple tube I I just enjoy it so that's what I use during the day I don't particularly have anything like too much to say about this it's just a nice basic fragrance free moisturizer hydrating great next oh yeah so another thing I use is this fundamental eye awakening gel so this is kind of like an eye cream and again, this is by Dear Claire's. I believe I bought this on Wish Trend. I don't believe you can find this on iHerb, although I could be wrong. And basically, this is Deep Hydration Oriental Tea Complex, cool and friendly, vegan friendly, cruelty free. I love how it says that. And it's just kind of like a nice cooling eye serum almost, or gel. It says gel, it's an eye gel. So I just kind of dab it slightly underneath the eyes. It feels really hydrating and it just feels nice and cool. And yeah, it's really easy to put on because it's so like it's quite thin for what it is like it's not like a super thick consistency it's like very like liquidy so yeah I like that so those are the products I've been using um, another couple things that I want to mention the sheet mask so I don't know how effective sheet masks are please let me know if you are some kind of dermatologist <laughs> but sometimes I feel like it's just placebo effect we just put this put the sheet mask on and it feels nice but I don't know I mean there there must be some good things in it and it does feel really nice on the skin so again I don't know but I do love me a good sheet mask not gonna lie guys I do love me a good sheet mask I've been looking for a vegan friendly sheet mask and this is the one I found and I swear to god I'm not sponsored by dear Claire's although I would love if they would sponsor me because clearly this whole video is about them so rich moist soothing tensile sheet mask I've been using this quite often I now use this probably about twice a week or a sheet mask about twice a week and this one actually has the face like cut off so you put on like half the face and then you put on the other half and maybe that's to make it easier to put on the sheet mask I don't really know I don't think it makes a difference but yeah it's nice and soothing this apparently has aloe vera leaf extracts high I can never say this word hyaluronic acid high hyal oh my god why can't I speak anyways it's supposed to be hydrating it's supposed to be soothing to me it's a really just nice kind of self-care moment love it yes so that's what it is so that's one sheet mask you could buy and finally I'm gonna talk about a different brand jeez actually I'm not I'm talking about wish trend <laughs> So Wish Trend is basically a website where you can buy like Korean skincare and makeup products and that's where I found a lot of vegan products which I love so much and again they actually mark down which products are vegan and cruelty free which I love because it helps the shopping process so much like genuinely. So I also found that they have these vegan friendly vitamin enhancing sheet mask and so I used that the last time I was using a sheet mask. I tried this. Yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice sheet mask. I think there's like green tea in this and it just feels nice. Again, I don't know, do sheet masks do anything? <laughs> I don't know. They seem to. They feel nice on the skin and makes me feel like I'm doing some self-love, okay? 
So I have three other products that's more like a haul because I actually haven't tried these, but I'll show you guys anyways just because I thought it, they're intriguing. But before I move on to those three things, I want to talk about something that's not Korean beauty, but it's something I have been obsessed with, okay? And I'm wearing it right now. It's this Physician's Formula. It's called Rosé All Stay. <laughs> Don't you love a good pun? Okay. So it is called... What's that sound? Anyways, this is called Rosé All Stay Illuminating Setting Spray. So it's supposed to brighten, tighten, and it's oil-free and alcohol-free. And basically, it's a setting spray that I put on after I put on my makeup. And what I love about it is that it actually has like, I don't know if it has like particles in it. Yeah, it has particles. You have to shake it really well. It has these like glow particles. Okay, I don't know if you can, you know what, let me just do this. On camera anyways I bought this on iHerb and I bought a second one already because I am obsessed okay it gives me this glow that makes me look like it makes me look like I, I mean I don't know if you guys can see but I already look like I'd be glowing okay and it's probably because of this let me try this Whew. you have to let it set obviously and I do have some like you know big lights happening up in front of my face but genuinely I love this it's so good. I don't know. It just like kind of fakes a nice glow on your face, which I don't have, okay? It ain't natural, okay? But it's just so nice. And apparently it has some nice stuff in it. I don't know how much that's true, but... It says it's enriched with rose water to help soothe, calm, and hydrate skin. Formulated with antioxidant-rich goji and kakadu plum, the richest vitamin C source of any fruit. Interesting. But do you guys see this like glow situation. I don't know if y'all can see. Okay, but Okay, I just had to mention it because someone actually asked me one time I think it was like in an Instagram story or something. They were like, how's your skin so glowy? <laughs> it's these okay. It ain't it ain't me. It, it's this physician's formula product and yeah very happy with it. So I literally use it every time now. Anytime I put on makeup, I just put this on all over my face. It smells really nice too. So it's just a nice experience overall. I think it does help me keep the makeup on a little bit longer as well. So that's good. But yeah, overall, I like it because of like the kind of glow it gives me. I mean, it's so good. Okay. All right. So now onto three different products that I haven't yet tried, but I think are interesting. So I thought I would mention this one product. I actually gave one to my mom and I bought myself one. All right, so this is a ginseng mask. Ginseng. And for those of you that don't know, ginseng is like a root. Let me find the definition of what ginseng is. Ginseng is the root of plants in the genus Panax, such as Korean ginseng. It says, here are seven evidence-based health benefits of ginseng. So generally you would like eat ginseng, okay? So it says, potent antioxidant that may reduce inflammation, may benefit brain function, could help erectile dysfunction. Okay. May boost the immune system. Okay, so these are all kind of like dietary things, okay? Like if we ate ginseng. So yeah, Korean people are like obsessed with ginseng. It's supposed to be like a cure-all. It's like Eastern medicine. It's like one of the top things of Korean medicine. Okay, people love the ginseng. So I guess of course that's why we got to put it in a facial product. So yeah, this has ginseng in it. I thought that was interesting. This I got from Wish Trend and the company is called I'm From. So I think it's kind of like a natural products type of company. And this thankfully is vegan friendly and cruelty free, which is very exciting. And this one says, the I'm From ginseng mask contains the rare red ginseng essence obtained by extracting the six year old red ginseng, which was cultivated in the fertile soil of Kumsan. Kumsan is a mountain in South Korea with low temperature concentration method. Fancy, okay. So again, I have not used this. I gave my mama one of these and I think that you can kind of use it. Oh no, you do rinse it off, okay. So after you wash your face, you apply a small amount and then gently massage over face and rinse off in 10, 15 minutes. Again, haven't tried it, but I was intrigued so I thought I would get it. Let me just show you what it looks like from the inside. Ooh, it comes with one of these spoons. Well, the packaging feels very professional. Ooh, wow. I was not expecting that. 
It smells very florally. It definitely has some scents in it, but it looks very like thick. Almost like, like a agave nectar situation. Anyways, that looks interesting. I definitely want to try that. Yeah, again, haven't tried it, but maybe you want to look into it. Another thing that I have here that I haven't tried is the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. And this is also by Dear Claire's once again. I got this from Wish Trend as well. And I haven't tried this. This is vegan friendly, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. Okay, let me just show you. So once again, I have not tried this, but let's see actually. It once again feels quite light. It's not too like thick of a cream. Feels like it would feel very nice in the under eyes. So yeah, maybe I will try that soon. It's an eye butter. Yeah, it feels really nice. Once again, haven't tried, but looks interesting. And last but not least, I think, <laughs> I found a face moisturizer, not a face moisturizer, what am I saying? A face sunscreen by Dear Claire's once again. So because I've tried so many Dear Claire's products and I've been enjoying them, I just bought a bunch of more Dear Claire's products and this one is an everyday sun protector. I wanted to mention this because I feel like sometimes it's hard to find vegan friendly sunscreens that are really good and some of them leave like a white mark all over your face. And this one, let's try it, I don't know. This one is SPF 50 people. And I feel like, again, Koreans are obsessed with like not touching the sun on their skin. So I feel like they would make some good sunscreens. I just have this feeling because Koreans are like obsessed with not getting tanned. So if you're looking for like a really protective sunscreen, I just feel like Korean people would make it very well. Now, obviously, I don't shy away from the sun, okay? A lot of people don't think I look Korean because I'm actually quite tanned and I tan very easily. And I enjoy tanning and I enjoy being a little bit darker, but at the same time, I know that the sun is damaging to the skin, okay? So you do want to protect your skin. Let's do the test, okay? The absorption test. Will it absorb quickly? Ooh, guys, that's what I'm talking about. Did you see that? It just disappeared. That's so exciting. Okay, because I have this other sunscreen that just would not absorb. This is like, oh, I love it. So this one is SPF 50 once again, and broad spectrum sunscreen, water-based gel texture. It definitely has a really light texture. Like it doesn't even feel like sunscreen. It has no scent, which is nice. A soft, weightless, invisible daily sunscreen that guards against UVA, UVB without leaving greasiness or white finish. Amazing. Vegan friendly as well, guys. I am shook. This might be my new favorite product. I'm surprised I haven't opened it yet I, because I have another sunscreen that I'm using and now it's like not really that like, you know, I'm not really outside that much. My skin is not seeing the sun that much. So that's why I haven't really used it yet. But I'm so happy that I found this because the absorb, I'm like, can we just try this one more time? I don't want to waste the sunscreen, but okay. Come on, did you see that? Why can't all companies do this? I don't understand, it, it can't be that hard. Anyways, so that is the sunscreen. I'm already happy with it. I mean, what more could you ask for with sunscreen? It goes on so easily. It doesn't even look shiny, as you can see like, there's no like, you know how sunscreens like sometimes like, they leave like a major shine on your face. <laughs> sometimes I like it, it looks like a kind of a natural glow or something, but sometimes you're like, it's too much, okay? And sometimes it leaves that like white cast over your face, and I feel like this will not do that. So amazing, if you're looking for a vegan sunscreen, especially for your face, definitely look into this one, the Dear Claire's one. All right, you guys, so that's it for the products that I have in front of me. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Korean skincare products video. I hope you guys enjoyed, found it helpful maybe. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Like I mentioned, all of the products will be linked down below. I got all of these from either iHerb or Wish Trend. If there's any other website, I think there's another website that sells Korean skincare products as well. So I'm gonna check that out as well and see if they have some vegan friendly and cruelty free items. So I'm gonna play around a little bit more with some skincare products. This is like my new kind of thing that I'm into because I'm like, girl, I want to be ageless okay <laughs> anyways if you are new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye